It's your boy Tank, and I am here with the stylist extraordinaire, Colin Carter. Listen, can you talk to me a little bit about how you started to find your success? How I started to find my success, um, I worked really hard and I was really, really humble. I feel like I never felt like I was too big to do any job, so I interned to be in all the right rooms and assisted, and I spent and invested my time and money in test shooting to build my portfolio, and I feel like that eventually ended up being the start of my, you know, what my career is yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. As, as there is a small percentage um, of black designers in the industry, um, McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Change of Fashion Program is designed to help bring awareness and change to that statistic. How important is brands like McDonald's to support emerging black designers in the fashion industry? Um, I think I think it's super important. McDonald's is so universal, yeah. and I feel like you know they're so known to the world. And I feel like you know black designers who really don't have that much um, that much notoriety or support. Yeah, sorry. notoriety or support. Yeah. I feel like McDonald's giving them that stamp is is amazing, and I feel like it's definitely needed. Well, my brother, you are yeah. killing it, and uh, when you Thank get a chance, you. hit me up, throw some fashion my way. I appreciate I got you. you. I Thank got you, you my boy. I'm gonna throw an invoice that way too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, we are counting down to the 2024 BET Awards. Y'all make some noise one time. It is Culture's Biggest Nights, and we're bringing you exclusive interviews, live performances, and every level of fashion, because that's just what we do. All right? Now, right here on stage, I'm with some of the designers from the Black and Positively Golden Change of Fashion program. Please introduce yourself to the world. My name is Hart Nia Roberts. Tom oh, my bad. Nia Thomas. Sharif Mosby. Hart Roberts. I'm Larissa Muletter, founder of Muletter. I'm Darrell Dupart, founder of Freddie Estelle. And I'm just going to help and run the mentors for the program. Tank, they, they stylish, they fashionable, but I gotta know how does it feel for you guys to be part of the Black and Positively Golden Change of Fashion program? I mean, for me, it feels amazing, you know, being black and coming from Richmond, Virginia, trying to show the world my fashion and, you know, you can do anything. No, it's just super surreal. I'm like incredibly grateful. I'm from New York, so I'm here just, you know, living, living the dream. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing to be recognized and to be able to show what we can do. So we're really happy to be here. Yeah, it's exciting. It feels like a blessing, and especially being from New Orleans, Louisiana, I appreciate y'all. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice. It's a privilege and an honor to be a part of the program. So, any any celebrities that you'd like to see in your in your fashion? Rihanna, Tyler, I'm coming for you. I got the top on. I got a matching skirt for you. Let's do it. Well, I have a suggestion. If any of you has an extra piece of wardrobe, Tank needs some sleeves because he's making us look bad. I do he's not need me look sleeves. Bad. So if you got anything in the trailer for Tank sleeves, because I don't want to look bad. Do y'all want me happening? to have sleeves or no sleeves? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. 